today, though. Now, that means never. Still don't approve of me, do you? No, think I'm wicked. Believe everything those two charming sisters of mine tell you about me, don't you? Confidentially, Uncle John, are you really wicked? Confidentially, honey, I'm just a little short of terrific. Here, there's the evidence. My gallery of playmates. Put them all together and you have one of the most delightful careers that a man ever carved out for himself. Now, meet Annabelle. 1896, right down to and including Margie. 1936. Eh, shocked to death, aren't you? That pained expression of yours is just like Mary's. Oh, they're making a fine job of you, all right. Oh, now, listen, baby. Anyone ever called you baby? No. Pity. And they never will in Linfield. Theodora! Oh, Adelaide! How are you, darling? I'm fine. Mother isn't worried or suspicious? No, not a bit. She thinks you're working for Mrs. Jameson and that you're so happy. Have you heard from Roger? No. Still don't want to tell him? If his mother's frightened him away from me, I don't want to bring him back because of this. Of course, at the same time, I, I can't let you and Uncle John go on keeping me. Who said so? Why, I wouldn't let you go. Why, young chickens like you are a tonic to me. You see? Run along now and take off your coat and we'll have some tea. Oh, by the way, your mother sent some cookies for you, but I met a hungry man and he ate them up. You run along, dear. You know, Theodora, this low trick you're playing on Linfield tells me but there's hope for you yet. Of course, not much, but just a little. Well, there's nothing low about it. Oh, no. You're only helping conceal from Rebecca Perry the fact that her daughter's going to have a baby. You lie about finding her work in New York, and you hide her away with your sinful old uncle. Adelaide's married. Oh, of course. That makes all the difference in the world, doesn't it? Well, I had to do something about it. The poor girl was frantic. Their parents don't know anything about their being married and that baby husband of hers going back to school. That's the old spirit. And I'll love you for it. And I'm going to be proud of you yet. Not if I can help it, 